Good Garvey Day, good Garvey Day, good Garvey Day to everyone out there, brothers and sisters, elders and youth, supporters, haters, activists, integrationists, assimilationists, nationalists, Hebrews, Moors, Nawapians, guys and earths, Christians, Muslims. Good morning to the entire African universe. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my continental Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Africans in Asia. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Australian Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Caribbean Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Central American Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my South American Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my North American Africans. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Oguntade. Yeah. These New Orleans hotels don't really have the desk. These French Quarter hotels don't really have the desk that the other hotels be having. So today I'm coming to you live and direct for the Black Parent Teleconference. Today I'm coming to you live and direct with the Black Parent Teleconference. Today I'm coming to you live and direct with the Black Parent Teleconference. If you have a question about your son or daughter, niece or nephew, foster kid, adopted kid, kid in the community, children that you work with, a mental health question, an education question, behavior question, uh, evaluation question, autism question, speech and language question, reading, math, comprehension question, text your first name and your city to 215-989-9858. Text your first name and your city to 215-989-9858. Text your first name and your city. If you have a question about children, 215-989-9858. There will be a meet and greet networking party with Dr. Umar tonight. There will be a meet and greet networking party with Dr. Umar tonight. It will be at the Africa Love Store, 3110 Magazine Street. It will be at the Africa Love Store, 3110 Magazine Street. It will be at the Africa Love Store, 3110 Magazine Street seven until nine o'clock. I wanna see all of my New Orleans brothers. I wanna see all of my New Orleans sisters. It is free, it is free. We want you to come out and purchase something from the African Love Store. We want you to come out and purchase something. You get to see Dr. Umar. If you have a question for me, if you want a picture from me, if you wanna purchase a book from me, it's going down tonight. Free meet and greet doesn't cost you any money. It doesn't cost you any money. Free meet and greet at the African Love Store in New Orleans tonight with Dr. Umar, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. The Africa Love Store is located at 3110 Magazine Street. 3110 Magazine Street, brothers and sisters. I am in town because I have to do a professional development for the staff of a mental and behavioral health company. Uh, you don't need to know the company, but that's why I'm in New Orleans to provide professional development for the staff of a mental and behavioral health company. If you are a black owned business and you need someone to come talk about improving the operation or morale of your business from a human relations standpoint, feel free to reach on, reach out to me. Okay, so tonight, New Orleans, seven until nine, Africa Love Store, 3110 Magazine Street. So let's get into the Black Parent Teleconference. Also, in Wilmington, Delaware, we will be finishing the paint job at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. If you want to come and paint with us this Saturday, if you want to come and paint with us 
this Saturday and Sunday, June 29th and 30th. I will be spending the last two days of June, the last two days of the Revolutionary Pan-African Fast. I will be spending the last two days of the Revolutionary Pan-African Fast painting the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. If you would like to come help us paint the school Saturday or Sunday, you can come one day or you could come both days, but you must be there the whole day. You can come one day or you could come both days, but you must be there the whole day and you cannot walk up. There will be no walk ups. There will be no walk ups. Do not bother me at the school. I'm taking care of business. Don't stop by to talk to me. It's not the place for that. You will not talk to me. Stop interfering with my work. Paint day means we're painting. It's not a talk day. It's not a day for you to drive by the school for a conversation. That's not what we're doing. So if you want to help us paint Saturday, Sunday, 11 to 7. And then we will take you to dinner. We're having a family dinner Saturday night and a family dinner Sunday night. Okay, you could get your hotel in Wilmington, Delaware, downtown Wilmington. You could get your hotel on the riverfront. Or you can get your hotel in Brandywine, Delaware, which is a section of Wilmington. Make sure you look up Brandywine, Brandywine, Delaware. That's a section of Wilmington, real peaceful, real quiet. That's where you can get your hotels. OK, we also have snacks and things during the day. I'm going to have my good sister come through with the smoothies like she did last time. If you want to paint, you got to text me 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858, If you fly and fly into Philadelphia International Airport, if you coming from Florida, you can fly into the Wilmington, Delaware Airport. The Wilmington, Delaware airport flies direct to three or four cities in Florida. If you're coming in from Florida, the Wilmington, Delaware airport flies direct from three or four schools, three or four airports out of Florida. Otherwise, flying to Philadelphia International Airport, PHL, Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy is 20 minutes, 20 minutes from the Philadelphia International Airport, 20 minutes from the Philadelphia International Airport, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. If you live in New Orleans, if you live in New Orleans and you can think of a black history attraction that I should see today, I'm going to be doing some sightseeing. I'm going to be doing some sightseeing today. I'm going to be doing some sightseeing today. And I have another meet and greet. I have two meet and greets. Let me give you the other meet and greet. Let me give you the other meet and greet. The late meet and greet is seven to nine at the Africa shop. That's the late meet and greet. Seven to nine at the Africa Love Store, 3110 Magazine Street. I'm doing another meet and greet from four until six. And that is going to be. The four to six meet and greet is going to be at Dimensions Barber and Beauty Supply, 1136 Franklin Avenue in Gretna, Louisiana. Dimensions Barber and Beauty Supply, 1136 Franklin Avenue in Gretna, Gretna Louisiana from four to six. So you can come see me in Gretna, Louisiana today from four until six. You can come see me in Gretna, Louisiana today at the Dimensions Barber and Beauty Supply from four until six at 1136 Franklin Avenue in Gretna. Or you can come see me from seven to nine at the Africa Love Store, 3110 Magazine Street. Text me if you need the flyer. 215-989-9858. Let's get into this because I need to stop at 9 o'clock. Let me see if you have any questions. <sighs> Text your name in your city. If we don't have questions about children, we will end early. If we don't have any questions, text your name, first name in your city to 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858.
Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm scrolling through my text messages to see if we got any parents on here. What day is the paint day? You know what's kind of sad, though? I'm talking to black parents. You know what's kind of sad, black parents? Is a lot of y'all need a lot of help with them children. Uh, Ethiopian restaurant. Somebody said, make sure you go to the Ethiopian restaurant. I love Ethiopian food, brothers and sisters. But I'm going to be at the meet and greet when I break fast. So I don't know if I have time to go to the. OK, here we go. I don't know if I have time to go to the meet and greet. They close at nine o'clock anyway. I'm fasting, brothers and sisters. I'm gonna need to bring something to break the fast. I might need to get a solid or something. My daughter has autism. Socially, she's struggling, she's homeschooled. You're gonna have to put her around more children, my brother, more social opportunities with other children there's no way around it more social opportunities other children good morning dr umar got a seven-year-old boy whose school is asking to retain him due to test scores and lacking in reading i paid for a program to combine his skills he attends summer bridge he's reading more confident how do i prevent him from being retained what other resources should i seek there's three young girls this week he also starts counseling behavioral issues separation i don't think your son's problems are academic i think they're emotional i think your son has had trouble focusing in school because of all of the emotional things he's been through sorry for the loss of his father the separation emotional problems can look like academic problems because children don't function well when they're going through traumatic experiences emotional problems can look like academic problems because children have trouble functioning when they're going through traumatic life experiences so for me now you know he definitely needs the therapy i'm glad you're setting him up for that but your son has been traumatized trauma is what's causing these academic problems, not academics. Now, as far as the retention, he's seven years old, so he's probably in first, second, going to second or third. When did they let you know that they were planning to retain him? Because what I find in the black community is they don't let parents know with sufficient enough time that they're going to retain a child. They don't like letting black parents know with sufficient enough time that they're going to retain a child. Um, so if they didn't give you enough notice to do anything about it, 
And then my other question is how far behind is he in reading? Test scores, most of our kids score low on test scores, so that's not a good enough reason to hold him back. Plus, he may have not been focused when he was taking the test anyway. But what grades was he earning on his report cards? That's what I want to know. What grades was he earning on his report card? Because if they was giving him B's and C's, which gives no indication of a struggle, and now they want to hold your son back at the last minute, I have a problem with that. If you need a private consultation, text him. I'm assuming those of you who are asking me questions via text, you're not interested. You're not interested in me calling you to give you the answer. Sister Candace from Houston. Peace and love, Sister Candace from Houston. My son is five years old. He's about to start kindergarten. Diagnosed with ADHD. I think he has some form of dyslexia. Should I get him accommodations before he starts school? Okay. The, first of all, why did you get your son tested before five years old for ADHD, which doesn't even exist? My beautiful sister Candace. My beautiful sister Candace. My beautiful sister Candace. I love you, queen. But why did you get your son tested for ADHD? at five or before five adhd don't exist it's a wall street drug company hustle let me say it one more time adhd doesn't exist it is a wall street drug company hustle if i tune day three times if i tune day three times if i tune day three times adhd doesn't exist it is a wall street hustle drugs for money that's all adhd is OK, so we should have never done that. Now, you think he's dyslexic at five. Candace, I need you to slow down. You're very quick to put labels on your son. You already labeled him as ADHD before five. And now you want him evaluated for dyslexia at five. My dear sister, I cannot tell you he's not dyslexic. But what I can tell you is we cannot be sure at five years old. Did your son go to preschool? Did he go to a good preschool? Do you work with him at home and drill him at home on his academics and his basic information sets? Is your son getting enough practice? Is he in kindergarten? Did he just finish kindergarten? Does he go to a good kindergarten? How much work is he doing outside of school? Candace, please don't make the mistake of so many black parents. Candace. Please don't make the mistake of so many black parents thinking labels will help learning. They don't. Labels do not help learning. Special education is the waiting room for mass incarceration. Let me say this again, Candace. Special education is the waiting room for mass incarceration. Special education is the waiting room for mass incarceration. Give your son a chance, Candace. Tutoring, practice. What is he doing this summer, Candace? Is he reading? Does he have a tutor this summer? Okay, I need us to slow down on these labels, family. I'm supposed to be in Dallas, Texas, July 21st. We will see. I'm supposed to be in Dallas, Texas, July 21st. You're in Houston, Candace. Let me see how far away Candace is from New Orleans. Five hours, Candace. If you want, you can drive the paperwork to me. You can drive the paperwork to me. And bring me the paperwork today at the Dimensions Beauty and Barber store in Gretna, Louisiana. Meet and greet with Dr. Umar 4 to 6 in Gretna, Louisiana at the Dimensions Beauty and Barber Supply. Or you can meet and greet Dr. Umar from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. tonight at the Africa Love Store, 3110 Magazine Street. My New Orleans parents, bring your paperwork. My New Orleans parents, my Baton Rouge parents, my Shreveport parents, my Lafayette parents, 
bring your paperwork. Whether you come to Gretna for the meet and greet from four to six at the Dimensions Beauty and Barber Supply, or whether you come to the Africa Love Store from seven until nine at night at 3110 Magazine Street. Bring the paperwork. Special Ed Clinic. You got two special ed clinics today with Dr. Umar. Gretna, Louisiana, 4 to 6. New Orleans, Louisiana, 7 to 9. No excuses. And you can get a copy of my book, No Excuses. The books are $50. Credit card, Apple Pay, Venmo, Zelle. Cash. So, Candace, I want you to slow down, baby. Danielle, I have a seven-year-old boy whose school is asking to retain him. Okay, I already. Okay, Danielle from St. Pete. Let me know if you need a private consultation. I came to hear you speak at Coppin State. I gave you the black hooded sweatshirt. come to Puerto Rico. Of course I will come to Puerto Rico. Of course I will. Where are my Puerto Rican Africans at? Where are my Puerto Ricans who identify with the African race? Puerto Rican is their nationality. Latino is their culture. African is their race. Where are my RBG Puerto Rican Pan-Africanists? Rest in peace to Arthur Schomburg. Rest in peace to Pan-Africanist Arthur Schomburg from Puerto Rico, who was a pioneer in the study of African history. He was studying African history before Dr. Carter G. Woodson. Where are my Puerto Rican Africans at? I didn't say Afro-Puerto Rican. I said Puerto Rican African. I didn't say Afro-Puerto Rican. I said Puerto Rican African. I didn't say Afro-Puerto Rican. I said Puerto Rican African. Where are my Puerto Rican Africans at? Where my Puerto Rican Africans at? Where my Puerto Ricans Africans at? I took a picture with a beautiful Puerto Rican African sister yesterday. If you have a question about your son or daughter, text your name in your city to 215-989-9858. Do you take cash app? Uh, I don't personally take to cash app. I don't have a personal cash app. They shut me down. Make sure y'all sign up for the mailing list. Make sure y'all go to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok bio and click on link tree. Click on my link tree and sign up for the mailing list. Meet and greet in Gretna, Louisiana with Dr. Umar today, 4 to 6 at the Dimensions Beauty and Barber Supply. 
Meet and greet with Dr. Umar 4 to 6. Meet and greet with Dr. Umar 7 to 9 at the Africa Love Store. 3110 Magazine Street. You can come to Gretna from 4 to 6. Africa Love Store 7 to 9. Text me if you need the flyer. 215-989-9858. 215 uh, I think I need me a back massage. Where can I get a black-owned back massage today in Louisiana? That's what I need. Where can I get any black-owned massage in Louis New Orleans, where my New Orleans Africans at? New Orleans Africans. Where can I get a nice massage? Only women. I don't want no man rubbing on my body. New Orleans, where can I get a nice massage? New Orleans, where can I get a nice massage? Questions about your son or daughter, text my phone. Foster parents have my child. I never signed over my rights. I went to jail for a while. When I got out, he was adopted. You're going to need a family rights attorney. It's going to be hard to get your child back. I'm sorry you went through this. It's going to be hard to get your child back without a family rights attorney. My name is Christine. I'm from New Orleans. Christine, I need to see you at the meet and greet. Christine, I need to see you at the meet and greet. Christine, I need to see you at the meet and greet. Let me read Christine's question. My name is Christine. I have a 14-year-old son diagnosed with ADHD when he was six. Time out. Time out. Why are we getting black boys evaluated for ADHD at five and six? What are we doing? What are we doing, parents? Christine? Christine, talk to me, baby. Why did you get your son tested for ADHD at five? What are we doing? The only solution America has for black boys with ADHD is medication. That's it. Medication. Medication, medication, Concerta, Adderall, Cyclert, Metadate, crack, 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 cocaine. What? Why did you get him? I got to stop this now. His school did it. The school couldn't have done it without you, Christine. I'm not picking with you, sister. I'm not I'm not uh, condemning you because, you know, we all here to learn and we are all one family. The school didn't do it, Christine. You did it, Christine. Listen to me, Christine. We don't diagnose ADHD in the school. Now, some schools have a behavioral health company operating in the school. They might have tested your son. But guess what, Christine? You had to sign your name. Christine, you gave permission, Christine. I cannot evaluate a child without written signed permission from the parents. We cannot evaluate children without written sign permission from the parents. We cannot evaluate children.